Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm just packing off my honeymoon really quickly. It's not going to be the greatest pack. I'm just going to be throwing all the bits that I bought. I'm so happy that they actually all arrived. I ordered some bits on ASOS in a panic because I made a sheen order and stuff. But now I think I probably have the perfect amount of stuff. So I hope you don't have to go like the root and coast of trying to find outfits and put them together. It just saved me a lot of time. I've just bought them. <laughs> so I'm hoping they'll fit. Um, but yeah, that also means I've got some nice new bits to show you. So I thought we could pack together and show you the kind of thing I'm bringing away. We're going to Italy. So if you're going on a Sunday holiday or if you're going um, on honeymoon, then you'll want to watch. But yeah, I've already got all of this in my suitcase and it's only a few pennies bits and like a few little things here and there. So it might be a bit tough, but no, most of our small things I'll be grand. Positive vibes only. Um, so yeah, let's just get going. I'm I am a bit wrecked, I have to be honest. Today is, yesterday was day two of the, two of the wedding. So our wedding was two days ago, but it only really ended yesterday because we had to day two. Um, so I'm a bit tired, I'm actually grand. I'm just really tired. I don't actually know how I'm grand, but I am somehow, it's actually wild. I've never got less of a hangover ever than I did for our wedding and the day after our wedding. And I feel like I was drinking loads and I also haven't been drinking for so long because of the wedding. But anyway, it's weird. So I'll show you the bits that I've actually already got in and then I'll show you the other ones. There's a lot to show. <laughs> so I've got this skirt from Penny's that I actually kind of was like contemplating bringing back and then I ran out of time. I like it. It's just... I could do with a size down, I think, but to be honest, when I'm in Italy now, I've probably gone up a size since before the wedding already, so it might be okay. But yeah, I got this in a 12, it's from Penny's. Just a simple little denim skirt. I don't, I, like, I like the denim wash, but I'm not, it's not perfect, do you know what I mean? So maybe I will just try and exchange it even when I get back. I don't know if you can do that after the time, can you? I'm gonna bring a book with me as well actually because I've been so bad I never read anymore and I love these kind of like self-helpy books so much I really feel like they like they're just so good for my like motivation and happiness and stuff so I'm looking forward to actually just getting to like read because I feel like coming up to the wedding any free time I had I felt like I should be just like kind of doing stuff for that so I feel like we need to relax <laughs> a bit now, both of us. But um, yeah, this is just, I'm just gonna bring a little beach towel in case it's from Penny's. I got it for, I got it years ago and Connor has like a matching blue one. We got them before we went away, probably two years ago. And we use them all the time. Like I always like bring it to the gym and everything. So it's way lighter than like a full on towel at home. And it's like, yeah, we got them reduced to a fiber. It was so handy. So I'm um, obviously packing that. I think I'm gonna I'll show you, I'm gonna like, my like bikinis and stuff in here I may have to get my other bikinis down actually from the attic but anyway I'll show you all the new stuff first and then if I need other stuff to add I'll do it after but I probably have enough here to be honest like I'm just being excessive so I may as well do this first okay so we've got the towel packed <laughs> okay penny stuff first so I obviously had to get a pair of the plain little flip flops. I got white this time because I'm bright. Well, what is it Monica says? I'm not I'm not even a bride, I'm just a boring married person or something along those lines. And then these, which are so cute. From Penny's, I love these. I'm gonna end up wearing these like every night over dinner, I bet you. Um, and I also got these really nice ones from there that I wore actually at the wedding. <laughs> They're a little bit dirty, but they're grand. They still look fine, they're just a bit dirty underneath, but they're nice because they're like square shaped and they're like like fake leather, obviously. But yeah, they just are like flip flops, but they look a bit nicer. So they'll definitely go with so many outfits as well if you're just like walking around. But there's a lot of hills and stuff, so I'm not going to be wearing like full on heels, you know. Um, and then I also have this bikini from Penny's. I actually got it before the hen and then I didn't bring it. I meant to return it and I didn't, but I'm gonna just bring it because I like it. Um, 
I didn't love it. I think that was more why I was going to exchange it. But yeah, bottoms are a bit cheeky, cheeky. I got this dress that I love as well from Pennies. It's so cute. It's like, do you know, what's this bit? Do you know, this front, <laughs> this front up bit that's like tight and then it has little ruffles at the end. It's so cute. This was 16 euro. I got that in a medium. I actually think it was, it is a little bit big, but I got away with it because it's just the style it is. I got away with it, you know? I got this little mirror to bring with me. Okay, now I'm gonna go on to the bits that I got on Pretty Little Thing. I actually forgot I even ordered from them. But got this really like kind of glam looking, just a little bit different, bit more of a fancy bikini. Because to be honest, most of the time I just like plain ones. And I got a few slightly different ones. Um for the honeymoon. Sorry, my head is not working. Um because why not? Um so yeah, these are the bottoms. They're high waisted enough and then the top is just like a little bandeau one but I like the little gold bit. It's kinda of, it's giving like Huns of Huns of G or whatever that brand is called. So I thought why not? And I got the bottoms in twelve and the top in ten and it's a really good fit. And oh I've actually got this set from Pretty Little Thing that I was so excited for but it just the skirt is so so small like it's unwearable my honestly my whole vagina hangs out of it it's so sad it's so nice it has a little flare and stuff the inside so i can't bring that now i'm gonna stop wearing the top that goes with it though because i'll definitely be able to just wear that with, like denim skirt or something and um, this is it it's just like crosses over oh, this really needs like a steam or an iron but i'm just i don't have it in me and i'm not bringing a steamer all the way to Italy, like I can't be doing that. So, if they don't have an iron in the room, then I'll just be wearing it wrinkled. It'll be fine, I'll be sweating anyway. I'll, <laughs> I'll steam up my body heat, so it's grand. This is probably actually my favourite thing that I got from Pretty Little Thing. It's so nice. It has a big gap here, so it's like that, but it's just it's a lovely colour. I love, I love all the like, oh, what is this called? It was like in when we were younger and then like the ruffle and all that little frill at the end. I just love, and I love the sleeves on it. It's so nice. It's real Italy vibes. I just feel like it's so nice. So I'm delighted with that. It's beautiful. So hard to fold though with all the like different bits. It's really a tough job. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go on to the bits of ASOS. I think I'm better off just keeping everything a bit separate so that I know I have some sort of system to what I'm doing and I didn't forget to show yourself. Um, yeah, so I've got this other bikini then from ASOS. There's no stretch in it though at all. I love the look of it. It's a like glittery type of one, but it's really tight, you know, on the love handles. It's really, the love handles are love handling <laughs> to the max. Um, and then the little top is like this. They've got loads of different styles in it, but I really like the bikinis that are just like that. I don't know why that neck, I just find really flattering. The top's quite good. It's the bottoms are a bit iffy, but I'm definitely still gonna wear it, you know? It might stretch. I also got this little bag, which I think is so cute. It's gonna go so nicely with my outfits, especially some of the white ones that I've brought, I'm not wearing much white. I just I have some white stuff, some normal stuff. I just basically bought normal. I didn't do anything like that. Like the hen where I wore it literally all white all weekend and the same with the wedding. Um but no, I'm not doing that. That's I've done enough. I just think it's so cute, it's literally Japanese vibes to the max. It's so good. But it's actually the brand South Beach on ASOS. ASOS Beach literally just came the other day. Or this is the one I panic ordered the other day. And I can honestly barely remember what bit I actually ended up getting. So that's perfect. <laughs> so I got just this plain kind of bandeau dress. I love the colour. It's like an orangey red. It's so nice. I think that will be just so fab with just little sandal type things and that little bag we sell nice with this bag like and it's also so comfy as well you know I want to be comfortable going out for dinner I hate being comfortable going out when you're on holidays you're like tired from the night in the sun all day like 
I want to get a bit dressed up and look a bit nice, but I don't want to be like too over the top and just like uncomfortable and self conscious. This is a full length bandeau dress. I didn't know I got that as well. But again, that would be lovely with like these little sliders. Is that what they're called? Yeah, I suppose they are, aren't they really? And I feel like I'll wear that at home as well, like not just. No, it's not just like a holiday outfit. It would be nice for loads of different things. And then when I thought that I was going to return that penny skirt, I ordered this one that I prepared the denim wash off on um, ASOS. So I might just pick which one's my favourite and return whatever one I don't because I obviously don't need two. Um, it's actually really nice. I definitely prefer this wash of denim. So I wonder if I'll prefer the fit. I got the same size as the pennies one because I feel like the penny sizes are sometimes big. So I feel like a 12 is way safer for me in a denim skirt because you don't want it so tight that you can't like sit down and bend your legs and stuff, you know. They are meant to be a bit loose. So that one looks really nice. I'll have to try it on. Sorry, just one of my, oh, I'm really not in the mood. I honestly don't think I'll try on most of the stuff. So now Andy, I'm so tired. Here is a white skirt. It's just a long white satin skirt. I did have one from the hen, but it was actually more of a pinky white than a white white, and I just didn't like it with the white top that I have to go with it. I've got like a white corset from Opali that I'm gonna wear with it. This is it, it's stunning. The quality is absolutely insane of this. I got this as a spare outfit for the wedding. I was like gonna maybe change into that and then I did a dress and stuff instead and then I was gonna wear it before I wasn't sure but and um, I was like I'd wear it on the honeymoon anyway if I didn't get to wear it so this is a skirt I saw a really nice river island one that I wanted but they just didn't really have it but this one looks lovely that looks nice and long this one's a bit longer as well the one I had was kind of like it went like halfway down your calf and this one I think is more like ankle length so it looks a bit more like I don't know it just goes better with the vibes that I was going for so I'll probably sell my other one I need to pop or something so I obviously don't need two skirts it's basically the same <laughs> and then these are a little pair of shorts that I got as probably my airport outfit I'll probably just wear them um, with like a white shirt as kind of like a little coward but they look really nice they'll definitely you could wear them in other ways like out for dinner and stuff as well from Topshop but I got them on ASOS um, they're kind of like linen actually they're really nice and now I'm on to the bits that I got from Shein and that's Shein <laughs> and that's the last place that I ordered from you'll be glad to know we're getting there so I'm gonna just have to actually sort out when I'm actually bringing and I'll show you what like cosmetics you can bring as well because I never know what to bring with me to be honest yeah um, okay, so I got this bikini that I actually think is so stunning. I think it's so like just classy like I just love it. I think it's so nice. I love the little thing. It's just black and white stripes. I love stripes and these are the bottoms to go with. It's so nice. Actually that reminds me I need to pack a little denim, a little pair of denim shorts. I have a pair that I got on Sheen before and they're honestly my favourite pair. Like they're so good. The denim is like perfect and they're just a good fit. Like they're just really really good. You just get so lucky sometimes I feel like and then other times you're like oh <laughs> but most of the time to be fair I actually like the stuff I got from Sheen I got this and it's definitely a Hazel CB knockoff like I know it's not the same quality as Hazel CB obviously because theirs would probably be like a corset and like skin tight but if this fits it's gonna be stunning like I can't wait I can't wait I need to try this on now I hope it works it has like do you know the bits that go like it goes down the front and then it's, oh, it's so nice. I really was contemplating getting the Hazel CB one of this in white um, for the wedding as one of my outfits. It was so nice. And then I saw this colour on Sheen and I was like, that's just perfect for the honeymoon, you know? You can't really afford a Hazel CB dress for every single day of the honeymoon or anything like that, you know? So, we're going with Sheen. <laughs> I'll show you the rest of the bikinis actually first. Sorry, I confused you by showing the dress and stuff as well. Bikinis and my stomach, it's there. That's kind of it. 
definitely have enough bits and bobs for just like daytime stuff but to be honest we're gonna be chilling like there's a couple of little day trips we want to do we want to we want to go to capri for a day we want to go we're contemplating going to pompeii and vesuvius i'd love to see them but it's literally a heat wave there and anyone who's given me recommendations said they were really good but it was way too hot when they went like they were boiling on the train and they were boiling there the, like so much so that they could barely enjoy it so i'm like if there's a heat wave at the moment it's going to be worse than usual connor's also already done both of them but i do really want to i'm just like will we just do a trip a different time and do them when it's not quite as hot you know go to somewhere else because i really want to i honestly want to go to everywhere in italy it looks so stunning i've only been once with my family and i cannot I can't remember where we went, it was somewhere near Venice. It's just like a holiday place near there. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna be relaxing most of the time, like during the day, we'll just be chilling by the pool or going to the beach or like going to one of the like beachy type of club sort of things. I don't even know what they are. They're just like, they have other beds like on like marinas and stuff and you can just like rent a bed for the day and just chill there and eat and drink all day. That's all I want. <laughs> Or like explore around the shops and stuff, but I'll just have like a comfy dress on or like shorts with a bikini underneath. So don't really need to be buying like all new outfits, but I want some nice nighttime ones and a few new bikinis. I've got loads of bikinis though, so I'm probably gonna just bring some of the ones I have already as well. Um but yeah, I just thought this one was so cute. And the sheen ones are so cheap, it's so hard to resist. But I love like look at it, it's little detail i don't know what that's called it's like brodery mate brodery whatever brodery whatever however you pronounce that something like that anyway and uh, it's so cute and then the little top is so fresh it has little little frills along there I just thought it was so sweet so i still get that something a bit different i don't really have a bikini like that so i was like <coughs> that's a good one to get i'm trying not to just buy 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 like when i went before i just literally buy a bikini for every single day and i'm like you need to calm down Although I probably bought one for like every second day <laughs> and I definitely have enough other ones already. Um, but yeah, I wanted some nice ones for our honeymoon, obviously. And then um, this one I also think is so sweet. I love it. The colours are so nice, the little flowers. And I love this like scrunched up fabric as well. It uh, seems really comfy because it's so stretchy. I love it. I'm getting really excited now that I'm packing to go away. I feel like for once, usually when I'm going away, I look forward to it for so long and whatever. But because we had the wedding first, I've been just looking forward to that so much and like really focusing on like planning that, that like we just kind of like quickly booked our honeymoon. We knew we wanted to go for so long, but we didn't like, you know, book like, different things to do and stuff yet like people have actually sent us recommendations but they've just been good sending them to us so I haven't like asked or done any of my research so hopefully this evening or whatever I'll get a little chance to do that but like we'll be chilling all day I can you can relax for the first few days and I can have a little look at stuff to do and we'll just figure out when we're there as well I feel like not everything needs to be so planned like we just need to go and relax now because we've obviously had a busy few weeks so perfect but I feel like we'll definitely go back to Italy I want to go to all the lakes I want to go to like Sardinia and oh there's so many nice places I want to go to Rome I've never been to Rome it's so so excited I'm so excited that we're going now that I'm packing I'm just really getting like it feels real we are going but well, that was different because I've nothing like, oh, I haven't even thought about it really it's mad but anyway that's the bottoms which they're the tie string ones which i feel is good because they're always a good fit you can always just make them a really good fit you know it's not like some of them where they like might dig in or whatever i just i really think the ones that are like the triangles and the ties and stuff are always just the easiest to get a nice fit in i don't know if you can fix them however way you want you can wear them as high as you want or as low down as you want and stuff and they just I think they kind of work for most people. Actually, they probably don't work for people with huge boobs, maybe because they might need more support. But of course, I wouldn't think of that because I don't have that problem. <laughs> okay, so now I just have a couple of more outfits for nice time from Sheen. That sometimes they get missed. Sometimes they're stunning, and you'd be like, "How is that from Sheen? Like it looks like it's from like Zara." But then other times you're like, oh, it's not a great fit, you know, it's hard to stand for. 
hopefully I'll be pleasantly surprised with everything. It's also the sizing as well though, because like sometimes I'm like, oh no, I need to size up because it's sheen. Like I'll get this, these are in a large, so I'm hoping surely they'll be fine. But then sometimes they'll be swinging off you and then other times they like are so tight and you're like, oh, I should have got like way bigger because it's sheen, but it's hard to know. It really is hard to know sometimes what to get the right, or what to get what size in. Um, but yeah, this is just the skirt here. It's a nice plain skirt. Defo rewear that as well. Um, it's kind of like linen sort of texture, that kind of a thing. It's nice and light, it's very summery. And then um, it has this little top to go with it, but what is going on? Oh, it ties at the back, I was like, it's huge. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the top here. It's just like a little boob tubey kind of thing, bando. Um, and it's kind of like scrunched, which is nice. So that, that'll be such a nice little simple uh, for you to throw on in the evenings. And it's just great to keep. And you can decorate that here as well. Let me see the ones for here when we have nice weather. And then I got this little skirt, which I just think is so cute. I'm just obsessed with ruffles and this little scrunch up fabric I really love. It seems, I don't know if it's a bit big, but I'm sure I'll get away with it because of this scrunchy fabric. I can't even see a size on this. Like they, their labels are so weird. They're always in different places. Got that in a large. I got this skirt. Oh no, these really need a steam. Wow, <laughs> don't do this to me, Sheen. <sighs> this little ruffle skirt. I love it. I love how it like dips down there. Sorry, I can't. I'm, I'm not, not feeling great. I'm a bit. Everything's repeating on me. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this colour so much. Another skirt, the same. I've literally got about four outfits that are that style now. But it's what's scored at the moment. And then this top I love, the little frills, like, so yeah, that and the skirt together will be beautiful, but you could also mix and match and change them up, we could wear that top, it'd be lovely with denim, with little shorts or a denim skirt, and the skirt would be beautiful with like a little neutral top underneath as well, again, you could wear it when you're here with like a long sleeve top or something in the summer, you know, a little t-shirt instead of a string top, and um, so yeah. And then I've had my eye on this cohort for ages. It's been on my wish list for months, but I've actually had like nowhere really to wear it. And then um, I ordered it for here, but I love it. It's kind of like corset style because it goes like down there into like a V. But the quality's so nice. It's giving like vintage, like I just love the fabric. Might be a bit heavy for Italy, but I'm gonna wear it anyway. So <laughs> um, yeah, that's the top. And I love it, the little bows on it. It's just, it's so nice. It's really nice. And um, it looks, it's really different. Like <laughs> you would never think this from Sheen. And then this is the skirt here. I hope it's a good fit because there's zero stretch in it. So I really hope I got the right size. I got it in a, doesn't say. <laughs> Probably a large though. I feel like I always kind of go, go for a large because it's the safest bet for me from Sheen. So I'm gonna wear these runners over with my um oh yeah, I haven't even gone, haven't decided what shoes to bring really, other than the ones I got in pennies. But to be honest, actually that's probably all of them as well as these. I'm gonna wear these over with my little shirt and shorts cowboard type of thing. And I'm gonna bring my crocs because they're just so handy and I haven't got enough wear out of them yet. Like I'm really sad, I haven't got a chance to wear them enough. Wear them sea swimming ones and that's like it. Like I keep forgetting I have them. Um, I love them. They're the like platform me. They're not. There's bigger fl platform ones as well. I think so. Like kind of in between normal and platform. Um, and I just love the color. Perfect. So it'd be so nice. Just walking around in. And that's actually probably all I need to bring. I actually also got these shoes on shoes that I forgot to show you. And I actually did get these for the wedding for like when my feet got sore and my high heels. <laughs> so I got these kitten heels for to change to change into because I, I loved the style I love this so they're like Manolo Blanick kind of knockoffs but they've got a tiny tiny little kitten heel kitten heels are in at the moment so yeah 
and like there's definitely nice outfits in there that I could actually wear these with like at night but I don't know how casual or dressy it is if I've got the space I might have them but I definitely don't need them and um, but I might have like one night where I really dress up and I wear like my corset and skirt outfit and these if there's like a really nice place to go and um, yeah I'll see but yeah they actually look really good in there they're handy because they're handy to have as like a little things change into you know, they're probably handy to have for just like going to like things like weddings because they'll go with most outfits that I have like just a white pair of shoes and you don't look like you're just yeah wearing going around your slippers after so they're also from Jean you'll probably bring them I need to decide on a perfume to bring to be honest I'm like I have this Sarah apple juice one that I really love but then I'm like I think I'll probably bring one of my more expensive ones with me but I've also got um Sarah Rose Gourmand oh my god it's, it's literally somewhere in a bottle I love the smell of it it's so coconutty and fresh I absolutely love that one and then I have this one that I brought on my ah I nearly dropped it on my head um it's Daisy Marc Jacobs ever so fresh and it's like kind of orangey I really really like that one like I think it's so nice and then I also have um Ariana Grande Cloud which is just like my number one I've got a smaller bottle of this that I would bring yeah so I might I don't know I'll bring one or two for the evening where I'm also like will I bring the rest of my wedding perfume with me because it's still the honeymoon you know where would I just keep that here and wear for other things and um, yeah I've also then got this little spray for during the day I've got this the little sadness but this is so so nice this all the sol de janeiro and this is the pistachio and salted caramel one it's number 62 and I'm obsessed it's so nice it's just somber like oh I just love it it's just so like coconutty there's not it's it's called pistachio and salted caramel but it just gives coconut for me although I can smell both of those in it. I just love love those kind of smells so summery. Um so I'll have that for like during the day and to be honest at night like it will probably pair up nicely with some of the perfumes like I'm gonna smell it compared to the rose gourmand because yeah it's quite similar vibes but sometimes it's nice to have two similar-ish to complement each other and then yeah this is the little set that these all came in all the solid Janeiro products so I've got a little Brazilian bum bum cream which I'm so excited for I've never had that I've tried my friends but I've never had one do you know um, and then this little moisturizing shower cream gel which is so cute I bet you it smells incredible as well which would be so nice to have on holidays am I stupid now to be opening this yeah probably but I want to oh my god this is really just like work Oh my god, I'm gonna die. It's so nice. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, no, I have to bring that. I'm gonna need a little shower gel over there, to be honest. Like, I don't feel like they put them in the, in the bathrooms on holidays bra, do they? You know, when we in Ireland, we always have little mini shampoo and conditioner bottles and stuff in the bathrooms when you're in a hotel, like it's standard. I don't know if they do that, do they? Or maybe they do, I can't think. Then I've got a little, um, Watermelon flavour 30 SPF lip balm. My lips are so dry, so I'm going to try it out. Not that I need the SPF. <laughs> it smells so nice. The watermelon. These are actually in our little survival kits from the hen. But I'm delighted I finally get to use it. And then I have these as my little shampoo and conditioner and stuff. My maid of honour actually got me these, so it's so handy because I've got such nice little bits to bring away with me now. And I just didn't have the time to get any of my little minis organised. We actually need to grab some cream on our way. But we've both only got 10 kg bags, but they're check-in bags. We're flying with Aer Lynx instead of Ryanair. So I don't really need to even worry about the size. It's mostly the weight. So obviously it's great that they're small because it keeps the weight down. But if we do we just want to buy a big cheap um, sun cream and stuff, we can just throw them in, which is great. So hopefully I won't be over 10 kg because I'm only bringing mostly light stuff like my shoes and stuff are mostly light and stuff there. The only thing really that will bring you down. Um, this is a little argan oil mask. Um, this is a heat protection which I'm definitely going to bring because I never usually bring one because none of mine are minis. 
well, it's obviously like you're still using like your straight or curl or whatever way and you're also in the sun all day and your hair is obviously getting destroyed in the sun so it's great to bring and then here's a lovely little conditioner like ring so good to have like a good shampoo with me especially with my extensions usually i'll have to go pouring them into the things and stuff but i can just bring these it's so handy and um, this is a little argan oil shampoo so it's great i'm gonna bring all them and i literally cannot wait I'm gonna, i can just keep them in this because i don't have to put them in that bag anymore oh and there's also this little daily treatment to try as well oh, actually i've got a little deodorant i've got this roll on deodorant because apparently you can like use it on your face and everything for like your upper lip which always sweats because i did that on my wedding day and i feel like it wasn't that bad it wasn't that sweaty so oh yeah but it actually could have worked to be honest but yeah at least i can bring that away every day oh my god i can't find it but i just found this other one so i'm just gonna bring this um definitely wear one a little cleanser and then this is a little cleansing cloth the only thing is i'm like will i be able to wash this yeah, I could probably just wash it every night after I use it and let it dry out on the balcony and reuse it again. Because I love using like a towel or something. I hate using cotton pads. I just feel like a little like towel or face cloth or whatever always just washes off your makeup and cleanses your face so much better. See, I'm surrounded by stuff now, but I think I mostly just have to fold them up and see if I've got enough of everything. I've got like, yeah, I've got a pack of like denim shorts and stuff that I already have and have a look if there's one or two bikinis that I already have that I want to bring and stuff like that I need to get them I think they're all up in the attic which is so annoying but and um, yeah I have like this little top which is just or this little dress which I've had for pennies for ages just a little button up one that I can just wear walking around or I can even wear it on my way back with runners and um, yeah so I think I've got a good bit there I'm gonna also try things on and see and um, I'm divided with the bits that I got they all look really really nice I'm excited to put on the outfits again. I can't wait. I'm gonna I'll vlog a bit when I'm there. I don't know if I vlog every minute of every day, but I'll definitely do a bit of vlogging when I'm there. So you have that to look forward to. <laughs> For accessories, I'm also gonna bring this little bag because it's so cute. I wore it today too, yesterday. And I also have this other gorge bag that I got for wedding day i'm probably gonna wear it over there i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm bringing it yeah well i'll show you this cute little door bag it's perfect it's got a little mirror and stuff inside it's so cute it was actually so helpful for the wedding day because like most of the times that i used it was just to top up my like lip gloss and or lipstick and stuff like that and um, so it was great it's a really low size my phone is just too big to fit in but that's the only annoying thing but it's just so cute like i love it so much so definitely gonna bring that as well because i may as well get some more wear of it just so cute um and then i kind of rooted out a few bits here i still have to go through some bikinis but they'll be basic ones like just plain enough white or black and stuff like that that i'll bring i've got this skirt that i might bring if i don't have enough nighttime outfits i need to really go through what i am bringing first and decide if i'll definitely bring these and then i have this skirt as well which is top shop from ASOS but it's very short I don't really know if it's giving Italy and um, these are just a few more options this is also a little skirt from um Sheen and these are the shorts that I was telling you about that I literally like I find them incredible they're kind of like longer they're not like short shorts but they're just such a nice wash and they're so comfortable so definitely bring them and um, so yeah I think that's everything really I hope anyways <laughs> I obviously need to pack like things like knickers and stuff like that which I'm always so scared of forgetting um but yeah that's I think everything pretty much my throat is literally gone <laughs> from the weekend of shouting and screaming singing and um, so yeah thank you so much for watching this video I hope you really enjoyed it and I will see you next one bye <laughs>